students good day today we're going to create your laboratory activity for lesson 4 character formatting so we have your project 4-1 lost art photos you are employed in the marketing department at lost art photos and have taken have been asked to format a promotional document so get ready and launch your word if it is not already running next open photos from the data files for this lesson so let's go to your file file tab then click open next we're going to locate our project for data files and then we're going to select photos document and click open and of course please click enabled editing so that we can modify your document instruction number two save the document as lost art photos in the lesson folder on your USB or flash drive so let's go to file save document as then I'm going to create a separate folder for this one so I'm going to call this folder as answer so that I can save or we can save your document in this folder next we're going to save this as lost art photo so lost underscore art underscore photo and just click okay or save next instruction number three select the documents title so to select the document title just click in the white space of your left margin next on the home tab in the paragraph group click drop down arrow on the border button so in our home tab paragraph group border button scroll down and click borders and shading to open the borders and shading dialog box so let's go to your border and shading dialog box in the setting list click shadow on the shadow and with list click three point so we're going to click shadow and of course for the width we're going to select three points okay. next click ok to close the border and shading dialog box so we're going to click ok instruction number eight on the home tab in paragraph group click drop down arrow next to the shading button okay so in our home tab paragraph group shading button under the theme colors click the color that is labeled olive green accent 3 light 36 so we're going to select olive green accent 3 next instruction number 10 select the first paragraph so in order for us to determine which is the, uh, the first paragraph please always uh, enable your show or hide button found in your home tab paragraph group and show or hide so the first paragraph is this one on the home tab in the paragraph group click line spacing button so we go to home tab paragraph group and line spacing button and we're going to instruction number 12 click 1.0 on a menu so we're going to select 1.0 select affordable prints so we're going to select the affordable prints and click the drop down arrow next to the border button so again let's go to your home tab paragraph group and of course border button instruction number 15 click outside border from the selection 
So we're going to select outside border. Next, click the drop down arrow next to the shading button. And again, we're going to select the color label olive green accent 3 40%. So olive green accent 40 percent next double click on the format painter to copy the formatting of the affordable prints to each of the other headings quality products options options and certification guaranteed okay so let's start with while it is selected Let's go to your home tab, clipboard group, and click format painter. Then we're going to wait for our pointer to turn into a brush, then brush this into the heading of each of the paragraph. So the format painter again allows us to copy the formatting options of the selected item. And of course, Instruction number 19, save the document in the lesson folder in your USB flash drive and close the file. So what we're going to do is first let's disable our short hide button and then click save button. After which we're going to close the file. And that's it. We are done with your project 4-1 Lost Art Photos. Let's go to your project 4-2 General Performance Expectation Guidelines In your job at the box and behind, you continue to work on the documents that will part of the employee handbook. So let's get ready and again launch our Word document. Next, instruction number 1. Open guidelines from the data files for this lesson. So let's go to your file open button and then let's locate our project for data files and we're going to select handbook we're going to select guidelines document and click open and of course please click enable content so that we can modify your document Instruction number two, save the document as handbook guidelines and the lesson folder on your USB flash drive. So again, we're going to go to file, save as button. Then we're going to save this as handbook guidelines. Handbook underscore guidelines and then Let's put this in our answer folder and click save. Instruction number three, select the two lines that begin with verbal discussion and written warning. So we're going to select the verbal discussion and written warning. Instruction number four, on the home tab in paragraph group, click the drop down arrow next to the bullets button and select the solid circle. So let's go to your home tab, paragraph group, bullets, and of course we're going to select a bullet circle. Instruction number five, place the insertion point after the second sentence in the list and press enter. So we're going to okay, place our insertion point after the second sentence and then press enter. Next, instruction number five, key termination as the third bulleted item. So we're going to write key in termination our, as our third bullet. Next, instruction number seven, select the double space line beginning with abuse 
misused and ending with falsification and misinterpretation. So let's go to our next line. Let's start with selecting the abuse and we're going to end with falsification and misinterpretation. Next. Click the drop down arrow next to the bullets button and click define new bullet. So let's go to your home tab, paragraph group, bullet button, then select define new bullet. Instruction number nine, click the symbol button and click the drop down arrow in the font box and select wingdings. Scroll to the top of the wingdings menu and filter row. In the fifth row, fifth column, select the solid diamonds and click OK to close the symbol dialog box. And then click OK to close the define new bullet dialog box. And click OK and then click OK next instruction number 10 select the remaining paragraph beginning with insubordination willful disregard and ending with engaging in contact next click the picture button in the search text box, key diamond and click go. So instruction number 11, click the drop down arrow next to the bullets and button and click define new bullet. So let's go to your home tab, paragraph group and define new bullet. Click the picture button and search text box, key in diamond. So let's go with your picture button. And we're going to key in diamond. And then click go. Select the second diamond and click OK to close the picture bullet dialog box. Click OK. Second diamond, click OK. And then click the OK button to close the Define New Bullet dialog box. Next instruction number 13, select the first, second, and third and last paragraph in your document. So to select multiple paragraph, don't forget to press your Control key in your keyboard. So let's start with your first paragraph. Select the first paragraph. Press Control key in our keyboard. The second paragraph. The third paragraph. And of course the fourth and last paragraph. Next, instruction number 14, on the home tab in paragraph group, click justify button. So let's go to your home tab, paragraph group, and justify. With the paragraph still selected, apply the first line indent by launching the paragraph dialog box. So let's go to your home tab, paragraph group, and then dialog box launcher. So in our dialog box launcher, under the special, select drop down arrow. So we're going to select drop down arrow under the special. And of course, we're going to select first line and then, and then click OK to close the paragraph dialog box. So just click OK. A 
instruction number 16 save the document in the les lesson folder and your USB flash drive then close the file So let's go to your save button and then close. And that's it. We are done with your project 4-2 general performance expect expectation guidelines. So let's proceed with your project 4-3 PTA officers. You are a volunteer at the local elementary school and have been asked to format a PTA document that lists the officers for the upcoming school year. Again, Get ready and launch your Word document. Instruction number one, open PTA from the data files for this lesson. So let's go to your file, open button, and in our project, project 4 data files, we're going to select PTA. And then click open. Instruction number two, save the document as PTA officers in the lesson folder in your USB or flash drive. So let's go to your file, save as button, then we're going to select our folder and we're going to save this as PTA underscore officer. And then click save. Instruction number three, use the tab dialog box to format the document as shown in figure 4-3. So we are asked to format this document. So that it will be look like our figure 4-30 document. So let's start. So we're going to select first the first paragraph and of course we're going to indent using first line indent. So let's go to your home tab paragraph group special select first line and then click OK. Next we're going to select the second paragraph and then we're going to go to our home tab paragraph group and center next this we're going to select the remaining lines of text in our document starting with the president and hospitality next we're going to our home tab paragraph group and click center Next, we are going to set the tab options for our, or the tab settings of our text. So let's go to your home tab, paragraph group, and dialog box launcher. In our dialog box launcher, we are going to click tabs, and let's start with the first one. So first, we are going to set the right tab at 1.38 of an inch. So in our tab stop position, we're going to type 1.38 of an inch and the alignment we're going to select right and then click set button. Next, for the second tab, the tab position is 2 inches and then the position or the alignment is left and then click set. Next, we're going to set the third tab at 5.5 of an inch alignment is right and of course the leader is number 2 and then click set and then click ok next we're going to position our insertion point between the position and the name of the person so first we're going to press tab key in our keyboard twice and then we're going again to press a tab key in our keyboard for the last one
Next, we're going to type the phone number. So that is 915-555-666. And that's it. So we're going to continue this until... We're going to continue this fra until, uh, from the president until the hospitality. Okay, so we are through formatting our document and I think it is uh, already closely uh, look like your figure 4-30. So let's go to your instruction number 4, save the document in our lesson folder on your USB or flash drive and then close the file. So first let's go to your home tab and paragraph group and disable your show or hide button. Next, we're going to add your watermark for your document. So let's go to your page layout, watermark, and then custom watermark. Next, we're going to select text watermark, and we're going to use text is your complete name. We're going to set the size to 36 and then diagonal. We're also going to select for the color, a standard color red, and click OK. So your final output should be look like this one. Go to your save button and then close button to close the document. We are through with your project 4-3. Now let's proceed to your project 4-4 phone list. Create a list of numbers that you can call frequently to keep beside your phone. Okay, so get ready and launch your word if it is not already running. So instruction number one, create a new word document and save the document as phone list in the lesson folder in your USB flash drive. So what we're going to do is just click the save button in our quick access toolbar and we're going to rename this document as phone list. So phone underscore list. Next we're going to locate our project for data files and we're going to save this in our answer folder and then click save. Instruction number three, create a list of phone numbers and the title, it numbers to post. Create a numbered list and apply the tab setting as shown in figure four, this 31. Okay, so let's start with our title numbers to post.
Okay, so next we're going to use a numbered list. So let's go to your home tab, paragraph group, and numbered list. Next, we're going to key in the information in our figure 4-31, police, ambulance, fire department, and information. Okay, so next we're going to center our title. So let's go to your home tab, paragraph, group, center. And we're going to make it darker compared to the rest of the text. So we're going to click bold in your home tab, find group, and bold button. Next, instruction number four, create a right tab setting 6.5 of an inch with the dot letters then key the phone number aside of each name. The phone number should align evenly between the left and right margins, maintain a balanced look of your document. So let's go to highlight all of our list, and let's go to your home tab, paragraph group, and then tab button. Next, we're going to, in our tab position, we're going to write six, or key in 6.5 an inch, and we're going to select an alignment right and, of course, a dotted leader. So number two, and then click set and click OK. Let's position the insertion point between the contacts and the number associated on that contacts and press tab key in our keyboard. And that's it. We are done. So instruction. And that's it. We are done with your tab settings. So let's add the watermark for your document. So let's go to your page layout, page background group, and then watermark. Then select custom watermark, and then select text watermark. We're going to use our name, complete name, as our text watermark. Then we're going to use the font default and the size is 36, color is standard red, and click OK. So your final output should be look like this one. Let's go to your quick access toolbar and click save button and then at the upper right corner of your document, click close button to close the document. And that's it. We are done with your project 4-4 phone list. Let's proceed with your project 4-5 developer job description. You are a content specialist, specialist at a software development company. Your supervisor asked you to format the job description for the developer position. Again, get ready and launch your word if it's not already running. Then developer from the data files for this lesson. So let's go to your file tab, open button, locate our project for data files and select developer document and click open. And then click enable content. Instruction number two, save the document as developer description and the lesson folder in your USB or flash drive. So let's go to your file, save as, and then we're going to save this in our answer folder. And we're going to save this as developer underscore description. And then click save.
Instruction number three, use the skills you have learned in the lesson such as alignment, line spacing, shadings and borders, tabs and bullet list to format the document in figure 4-32. Be sure to follow these guidelines. Okay, so first, letter A, display the show or hide button. So let's go to your home tab, paragraph group, show or hide. Delete all non-printable characters in the document where a blank line appear. So we're going first to delete all the non-printable character where the blank line appears. So we're going to select this paragraph mark and press delete key in our keyboard. Next, okay, so letter C for the title, apply the shading orange, accent 6, lighter 40%, and set the paragraph spacing after the 24 points. So let's go to your home tab, paragraph group, shading. So first we're going to select the title, and let's go to your home tab paragraph group shading and we're going to choose orange accent 6 lighter 40 percent so while it is selected set the paragraph spacing after two 24 points so let's go to your home tab paragraph group and dialog box launcher we're going to set the spacing into 24 points And then click OK. Next, instruction letter D, select the heading position, title position, objective and reports to, and apply a shading of orange, accent 6, lighter 80%. So we're going to select first position title, and we're going to apply accent orange lighter 80 percent and we're going to copy copy the format so while it is selected let's go to your home tab clipboard group format painter to copy the format next we're going to copy this in our position objective click format painter again and then copy to reports to and click format painter again and that's it so let's deselect letter E select the headings principal accountabilities and essential duties of the job qualifications and apply a border with a shadow setting width of two and a half two and one fourth inch color orange accent six darker fifty percent so we're going to select principal accountabilities and essential duties of the job and we're going to apply a border so let's go to your home tab paragraph group border and border and shading so we're going to apply shadow border and a width of two and one fourth of a point and a color of orange accent six darker 50 percent and then click ok 
instruction letter F, set the paragraph spacing after 12 points. After each paragraph headings, position title, and position objective. So we're going to select the position title. And then we're going to go to our home tab, paragraph group, dialog box launcher. And we're going to set the spacing after into 12 points and click OK. The same with position objective. So we're going to select. And the same process, go to Home tab, Paragraph Group, Dialog Box Launcher, after is 12 points, and click OK. Instruction G for the reports to heading. Set the paragraph spacing to 24 points after the Director of Development. So we're going to select reports to director to development and let's go to your home tab paragraph group paragraph dialog box launcher spacing after is 24 points and click OK. Instruction letter H under the heading principles accountabilities and essential duties of the job. Apply a solid diamond bullets to the paragraph. So what we're going to do is we're going to select the entire paragraph from the participate as and other duties as assigned. And let's go to your home tab, paragraph group, bullet, and we're going to select a solid diamond bullet. And of course, letter I, at the beginning of the first bullet, item under the principles of accountabilities and essential duties of the job and qualifications set the paragraph spacing before 12 points so first we're going to select the principles in accountability and we're going to go to your home tab paragraph group and in our paragraph dialog box we're going to select spacing and set that into 12 points and click OK instruction letter I at the beginning of the first bulleted item under the principles of the accountabilities and essential duties of the job and qualification set the paragraph spacing before 12 points so we're going to select all this paragraph and of course set that into home tab paragraph group before is 12 points and click ok The same with all the bullets under our paragraph. So first, let's copy this using Format Painter. So select an item, go to your Format Painter, and then click or brush all of the formats. So while it is selected, so we are able to copy all the formats, the before and after spacing. Next instruction letter J, after the last bullet item under the principal accountabilities and essential duties of the set job, set the spacing after 218. So we're going to select this one, last duty, and of course we're going to go to your home tab, paragraph group, and of course we're going to select spacing after 18 points. And press OK. Okay, so we are going to format the rest of the text. So we're going to select the principal accountabilities and essential job, click Format Painter, and paste it in our heading.
And finally, we are through with the format of our document. So instruction number four, save the document in the lesson folder in your USB or flash drive and close the file. So let's go to your quick access toolbar and click save button and click your close button at the upper right corner of your document. And that's it. We are through with your project 4-5 developer job description. Let's proceed with your project 4-6 rabbit show. You are a volunteer at the annual Falls Village Fair and you have been assigned to work on a document about one of the exhibits. The person who created the document was not familiar with the line spacing, tabs, and list as you are. So you need to format the document as shown in figure 4-33. So again, get ready and launch your word if it is not already running. Instruction number nine, number one, open Rabbit from the data files for this lesson. So let's go to your file. Then click open button. Select our project for data files and then we're going to select the Rabbit document and click open. Click enabled editing so that we can modify the document. Next, instruction number two, save the document as rabbit underscore show and the lesson folder in your USB or flash drive. So let's go to your file, save as button, and of course we're going to save this as Robert, rabbit underscore show in our answer folder and click save. Instruction number three, make an adjustment necessary to format the tabs, line spacing, and list shown in figure 4-33 following these guidelines. So again, we are asked to format this document and the formatted document should look like this figure 4-3 image. So let's start with letter A on the title, remove the first line indent and make sure that the alignment is set to center. So we're going to right click or select the title and then adjust our indicator for the first line in our ruler and move it to the left side of the ruler. Then we're going to set the Alignment to center. So let's go to your home tab, paragraph group, and then center. Okay, so instruction letter B, select the first line under the, re under the heading and remove the first line in that. And then remove the existing tab settings and reset the tab settings to right at tab, 2 inches, and of course 6 inches with leader so again let's select all of our lines of text so six line of text under our title so one two three four five and six and let's go to your home tab font group clear formatting and then we're going to set this to our new tab settings so let's go to your home tab paragraph group and tab setting. So first, we're going to set the right at two inches, right alignment and click set. Next is your six inches right with a leader of number two and click set and click OK. And that's it. So first, let's position our insertion point at the beginning of the first line and press tab key. The same with the assessment assistant tab key until the last lines. And that's it. 
Instruction letter C, remove the extra paragraph mark before and after the call path and center. So to do that, first you need to go to your home tab, paragraph group, and show or hide. And we're going to remove the extra paragraph mark before and after call path macquire. So select the paragraph mark and click delete in your key keyboard. The same with the after. Next, letter D, remove all formatting tabs and indents and apply a bullet using check mark within a box under the heading special rules. So again, we're going to select all the text under our heading special rules and of course let's go to your home tab font group and clear formatting while it is still selected let's go to your home tab paragraph group and bullets next we're going to click define new bullet and click symbol we're going to find a bullet with a check inside Instruction letter E, remove the non-printing character mark before the heading rabbit premiums and change the paragraph, paragraph spacing by setting the space before and after at 18 points. So first, we're going to select the paragraph mark before the rabbit premiums and press the let key in our keyboard. Then select the rabbit premium headings and go to your home tab paragraph group. And we're going to set the before and after into 18 points. And click OK. Next instruction letter F, select the items under Robert, Rabbit Premiums and clear the formatting. Beginning with the pre-junior and ending with the senior class and apply a numbering list of 1, 2, and 3. So first, we're going to select all the line of text from pre-junior and senior class. And let's go to your home tab, par font group, and clear formatting. Next, we're going to apply a numbered list. So let's go to your home tab, paragraph group, numbered list. And of course, we're going to select number. Next, adjust the text so that it will fits on one page so to do that to see if we uh, exceed more than one page let's go to view view tab and then one page so we can see here under view tab and zoom group and one page that we are able to see the entire document at once and we are able to see that there are no components or text of the document outside the single page. So to remove, let's go to your view tab, zoom group and 100%. Okay, next is let's go to your page layout group, page background watermark and custom watermark. In our text watermark, we're going to write our complete or key in our complete name as our text watermark. We're going to leave the font, but we're going to set the size in 36, color is standard red, and click OK. And this is your final output. So let's go to your home tab and of course deactivate your show or hide button to see the actual result of your document. 
instruction number 5, save the document in the listen folder in your USB or flash drive and then close the file. So let's go to your quick access toolbar, click save button and then at the uh, right side of your document, click close button. And that's it for your project for the Six Rabbit Show. For your project 4, you are expected to submit the following document, developer underscore description, handbook underscore guidelines, lost art photos, photo, phone list, PTA officers, and rabbit show. And that's it for your lesson for laboratory activity character formatting. Students, thank you for your time and see you again in our next project.